we also know sometimes you don't want to break the bank for your upgrade. Uh, you want to save some money for those games. Uh, so therefore we brought some more affordable gaming stuff as well. True gaming stuff. Um, and for that, uh, I think, Peter, you can start off with the graphics card because in yep. this segment, I think the graphics card is where most of the money will be spent. Yeah, uh, even though it's not that high, I have to tell you. Well, at least, you know, if we're looking at normal pricing of graphics cards. Um, anyway, so we've gone with a 1050 Ti uh, Gaming X 4G. So this is great for 1080p. It will still give you, at, at that resolution, it will still run most of the games uh, great. And, and uh, 60 FPS, especially the, the more competitive games, easily over uh, the 100 FPS mark. Um, and it's still every bit as good as the, the 1070 Ti instead in uh, terms of the um, twin throws of the cooling. So it, as you might see here, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it looks quite similar, but it's a bit smaller, of course. <laughs> um, so this is because the GPU itself doesn't need quite as much power. Also, the, the, pin, the, the power connectors here are less on this, uh, on this card. So it will use a bit less power. Uh, therefore, it also requires a bit less cooling, obviously, uh, will make less noise. Uh, also needs a less beefy power supply, so you know if you're not looking into upgrading that, uh, it's a perfect choice. It's also not quite as big, so if you look at the back, you can see that the PCB is also a bit shorter. So that is great if you're looking into uh, smaller builds as well, if you want to keep your PC a bit small. Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, it's just still a great card and it still has the best performance uh, and, and perfect for uh, 1080p resolution. And still, even on this more affordable gaming card comes the, uh, let's say, more of a decade experience twin frozer cooling design. Twin yep. frozer. So yep. Yep. Uh, even with the Torx fans, even with uh, the multiple heat pipes, yep. uh, yeah, a lot of uh, sophistication going on to keep the card cool yep. and silent, you know. Uh, yeah, you might notice this one's a bit smaller, so we shrunk it down because it's, it doesn't make sense to have this really big cooler that will, you know, keep the card like freezing at all times. Um, and, uh, you know, l as I explained in other uh, streams as well, that each card we just look at what does this card need to, to stay cool and to make sure that you have the best experience. So each card will have a slightly different heatsink just no. to optimize the experience. So what kind you know what are we looking at in terms of motherboard? Well, you actually already mentioned a little bit about uh, smaller uh, form factor. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert. So uh, <laughs> that smaller form factor comes into play here as well. So I mentioned uh, a little bit about a more affordable but still true gaming motherboard. So uh, what I brought here today to perfectly match with the GTX 1050 Ti Gaming X 4G is uh, the Z370M Mortar. So uh, this is in our Arsenal gaming segment, which we have for motherboard side for a more affordable gaming rig. Uh, but it still comes with immersive audio experience through Audio Boost. Uh, still comes with MSI Gaming LAN to further optimize your LAN uh, and also uh, do bandwidth management, of course. Um, but still plenty of connectivity options, even USB 3.1. And as you can see on the screen uh, here, it has plenty of options to further enhance the gaming experience and enhance your performance. So uh, it has plenty of covers, you know, a nice look and feel. And even for a board of this price, you still get a lot of gaming related uh, yeah, features, I would say. So um, this makes it perfect for this 1050 Ti. And I think in terms of upgradability and pricing, uh, buying this graphics card, buying this motherboard and uh, applicable CPU, uh, you might upgrade your system for just under 400 US dollars or 400 euros. Mm. So that's quite uh, affordable and yeah. still you have plenty of money left for uh, those game titles coming out. So uh, still a lot of performance and actually looking at the results later on uh, in our game tests, yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we were kind of surprised how it delivers, how well it delivers FPS. I mean, yeah. especially at 1080p. Um, what I just want to highlight here as well is it even has the option to do uh, multiple graphics cards. So in case you want to do Crossfire, so two AMD based cards, you can even run on this yeah. motherboard as well. And I, I just noticed that, you know, I'm hearing a lot of the same terms that actually, and, and a lot of the same features. Yeah, it's Pretty like uh, going from high end to a more affordable. Uh, you will leave out a few connectors. As you can see, yeah. uh, this is a micro ATX board, so less PCI Express yeah. slots, um, but also a few less SATA ports, for example. Yeah. Yeah. But for any, but you still get uh, the and essential gaming rig. You get all yeah. the bells and whistles you need for your gaming setup. Yeah, and the things that make the biggest difference. I mean, the, the storage. You know, you still get yeah. two M.2 slots. I'm not sure if you can do the RAID on them, but you no, know, that's just yeah. amazing in terms of speeds. It doesn't yeah. get that much better than that. And you still get the Z370 chipset from Intel. Exactly. So this is a Z370, which means you can do yeah. the six-core, twelve-thread CPU on it, Intel's eighth generation. But you can even do overclocking on this. So even on a more affordable MSI gaming motherboard, you can do overclocking. 
There you go. So, yeah. So basically, all you need in this small form factor, together with wow. this small graphics card, is really nice. To